Hi, this is Jim Shewitt. This is a Sage 100 contractor estimating and 9.5 takeoff. It's an introduction. Why use the Sage estimating and takeoff? This is the center point of the software. Everything you do starts here. Why risk all the double entry, chances for errors, extra staff people, and delays to your schedule? Here is the answer to why. The export. The export. A one-click creates your budget, purchase orders, and subcontracts. By the diagram, you can see the items which one click will export and how many options there are for each one by job, by job phase, and so forth. Now let's take a look. Open Sage. In the Sage menu, click on 9 estimating and then the 5 takeoffs. The takeoff launch screen will open. If this is your first time, no jobs will be listed. Enter your job number or use the down arrow for a list of jobs to choose from. What are some of the key takeoff features you'll need to know to prepare your takeoff? To create a complete proposal for your client, you may need to use these important features. They're not required, but they are available. Parts. Parts provide the description, part numbers, costs, client price, categories, instructional notes. Assemblies. Group the parts needed in one place and automatically price out with just entering a quantity. Bid items. Bid items separate or group parts and assemblies into bid groups to simplify your proposals. Phases. Phases separate your bid items, if needed, into project sections like Building 1, Building 2, etc. Parts and assemblies. In the Sage menu, 9.2 is where you create the parts and 9.3 the assemblies. Uh, set up parts and assemblies in these menu items. Uh, for items pricing to be included in the final takeoff proposal, each item must have a quantity and a cost. The cost comes automatically usually from the item part number. Bid items. Use the down arrow to see what bid items already exist. If none are there, click on the bid items curved arrow to create your own list. Note, uh, each job has its own set of bid items. Phases. Use the down arrow to see what phases already exist. If none are there, click on the phase curved arrow to create your own list. You can use phase to separate the takeoff into segments like building one, building two, etc. Note, each job has its own set of phases. A couple of features that will help you. The view and the auto fit. Use the down arrow to see what views are available. Uh, to start, use all. To create your own view, click grid views up at the top at the top in the little box uh, from the top menu. You'll find that these views allow you to zero in just on the columns that you need. It's an amazing feature. The auto fit all columns feature Click anywhere in the grid area to get the selection box to show. Select Auto Fit All Columns 
to automatically space the columns to the right to the type used. This will allow more columns to show. Next, click Save Current Grid View to save the auto-filled screen. This feature is just super powerful and useful. I use it every day. Now let's look at the takeoff. The column titles. There are a lot of columns in the takeoff. The list of the titles are on the left side here. Assembly, part number, alpha part number, and so forth. Take a, take a look at these and uh, we'll discuss each one in the next screens. Let's look at one of the unique things you can do in your takeoff. One click RFP, the, requ the request for price. The RFP. To get RFPs, list the same item multiple times and add a different vendor to each. Send out the RFP requests with one click. Log the vendor prices into your takeoff, and for the winning bid, add quantity equals one to the takeoff for that row. Enter quantity equals one on successful vendor. Leave the other vendors no quantity, just as history. Only items with a quantity fund the estimate for the client. This provides you the historical look, looking back at the bids, and also provides you with the winning one and its uh, quantities and pricing. The RFP, this screen shows the results of having entered the quantity of one to the successful bid. Uh, estimate includes only items with a quantity. Now the process is shown on the next screen. The RFP process. Again, one click. You start with the takeoff and you go up to export and choose RFP in the list and then by job. From there, it gives you the screen to select the vendors you want to send the RFP to. You click on those and then export and then the RFPs are created and waiting for you to send them. Now let's take a closer look at the takeoff grid. The takeoff grid has a lot of columns. So we'll take a look at segments of this one segment at a time. The segments, the part area, the formulas, the pricing, and the vendors. The part columns include the, these columns, uh, assembly number, part number, alpha part, unit, quantity, and cost. Note that an asterisk in the header indicates a required field. The formula column. The formula column can be used in many ways or not at all. In, in this instruction level, we suggest that you review the example on the diagram at the right and then study the help info. There's quite a bit to learn uh, on how to use it and examples in the sample company. Uh, in this case, the uh, L, W, T, and R rows, in other words, the length, width, thickness and rebar are labeled as equally in Q, the quantity. The following rows are using those new labels to create the formulas to calculate complex values, in this case, poured, footing, running, linear feet. Take a look at that and you'll find that it's uh, 
easy to understand and straightforward. The pricing columns include uh, the extended columns. Uh, these are the result of multiplying quantity and cost columns to generate the existing totals of labor and materials required in the estimate for the client. Uh, there's also sales tax columns, overhead rate and overhead amount, profit columns like profit rate and profit amount, and then the extended price. You'll see that the overhead rate is a, com a computation of the extended cost times the overhead rate. The profit then adds the profit rate percentage to the sum of the extended column and the overhead rate together and gives you the extended price. Now, the extended price is your client's cost. The vendor's columns. There is a column for the vendor and cost codes. The cost codes are unique to the company. Uh, cost type, those are preset types, uh, one through five, and there are four additional ones that you can select as how to use those. Task columns are, tasks are for the scheduling module, inventory location columns, again, for the inventory module, if you use those. Uh, the user defined column provides a column where you can choose what you want it to, to do and how you want it to act and what type of data to put in there, dates, numbers, text, that type of thing. And the last two columns are the notes columns. The notes column are internal company notes and the export notes column are for export, obviously, like to your client. Now you've created your template, your uh, takeoff, and now it's time to print reports. So use the printer icon on your 9.5 screen to open up the list of reports available for takeoffs. The standard Sage takeoffs uh, start at 21, and in this case go to 71. Uh, see samples of some custom reports available from sage100reports.com. Customize your brand with custom reports Here are some proposal samples of custom reports. And remember, your brand, your company brand, is most important. Uh, you need to have a good look, and it needs to be consistent throughout all your, your modules and things that the client receives. Here are three samples, and on the next screen, another three samples of proposal. So it shows different styles uh, for you to consider. Here are the other three samples of proposals. Uh, again, uh, different styles, different looks. Uh, there's a lot that can be done to make your company look professional, as professional as you already are. And now, takeoff worksheet samples. These are reports that show the takeoff's performance in a custom report. Uh, these two samples that I'll show you, this one and the one on the next screen, are quite dynamic. Uh, this report shows all fields, all lines on your takeoff for a quick review of the takeoff content. Another takeoff worksheet sample. This report shows your costs and pricing, overhead rates on all takeoff items, and your takeoff margins is a multi-page report and the last page compares the takeoff margins with the margin percent with different possible margin percents and you can change the result of your takeoff uh, according to the percentage that you want or need.
Well, there is much more to learn. Uh, how to create a takeoff template so that you can use each style of template for each style of job. Reuse them over and over again to save time during estimating. And ask me about converting your spreadsheets to a template for you. And there's, of course, additional classes on, are available to continue your education on learning the 9-5 takeoffs. I want to thank you for your time and your interest, and I'm here to help. Thank you so very much.